Now I don't know about you whether you believe in love at first sight or not, but this man sure as hell does and he takes it to the extreme. Very quickly, if you enjoy the cut of my jib, consider hitting like and subscribe. It not only helps out my channel immensely, and you're going to make my day, but it's going to keep you up to date with all of these movies that I review coming out. But that being said, let's get on with this one. Stalked Within. So Stalked Within is quite thankfully quite a simple premise to wrap your head around. We're following two main characters. First up, we've got Sarah. Now Sarah is like subtly said to be just a single mum now. Her man had recently passed away, so she's moved into a new home. And with this new start, certainly in a new neighbourhood, she wants to put up a little bit of security in the house. You know, she goes for the full rig. She gets cameras in every room in the house. She's making sure that she is monitoring shit. And this is where we lead into the other main character, Gary. He works for the security farm. Leave the home now. Police are on the way. Leave the home now. Let's just say that he gets a little bit obsessed with her. I don't want to complicate things. Complicate things? Like if you and I were to go out. Just a little bit. So Gary's job is basically to man the cameras. So when one of these alarms goes off, he is then getting that house on screen and he is then trying to get the intruder out of the house, calls the police, does all these various things. You know, he means well and it's a shame. Sarah just can't see that. I'm sorry, I can't. You can't. You just don't want to. It doesn't take long in the movie for the break-in to first take place in this movie, but only about 10 minutes in, which is great to see because this just gets the movie going very quickly. Gary is the one that gets this call through, he gets the intruder out of the house, and it all ends well. Sarah's unharmed, the house is not robbed. <laughs> You know, the security company want to do an interview with Sarah, really just to big them up as a company, you know, how secure they are, talk to Sarah about how she was feeling in the moment, if she's glad that she got the security, which obviously she did, but it's free advertising for them. And when she's there doing the interview, they do that thing in interviews where someone gets brought in to talk about a scenario and they bring in a secret special guest and it turns out to be the other person in the story. I have a surprise for you. This is Gary Myers. Now Gary was already liking the look of Sarah. Now Gary is very liking the look of Sarah. See for the main chunk of this movie though, there isn't really too much to say because you've got Sarah who is living in this house and just trying to go about her business and then you've got Gary who has access to all of her cameras and all of her audio and is obsessed with her. So you can only imagine and probably guess what happens for a big chunk. <laughs> He is just watching her being an absolute top tier creep. What I did quite like though in here is that we learn a bit about both of their lives. You know, you learn a bit more about Sarah, the fact that she is now just a single mom with her kid. You learn about their life dynamic because a lot of Sarah's family are also involved. You know, her mom and dad and sister, they're there to support her through this tough time. Being the single mom now, not Gary. They don't know about him yet. And then on the opposite side, you've got Gary and we learn that his mom is very ill. He's in good spirits. I mean, he's talking about marrying Sarah. I met a lady, she's a, she's a kid, it's nice. Things are really working out for us. I'm talking about getting married next year. Yeah. <laughs> it really is just a shame that she cannot see past this crazy stalker and absolutely psycho behavior because he wants to take care of her. Now look, see when he's jumping in and out of the cameras? I'm not gonna lie, I was getting massive Five Nights at Freddy vibes. Like he is bringing them up on his phone, he's got them on the laptop and he's just accessing them in work as well. But when he's on his phone specifically, just the way he keeps bringing it up and down and watching her in the room. was almost like looking out for Freddy and make sure he's not gonna fucking jump scare you. So as the movie goes on, he makes a few advances with Sarah, which quite obviously she rejects for a few reasons. One, it's really not a good time. And two, she's not that interested in you, man. You just need to move on. Does he take that news well? <laughs> Does he fuck?
That was a good save. You know, she meets somebody new and she's starting to date as well, so he gets jealous, gets more obsessed, and just starts stalking more. I'm watching you, you bitch. You're gonna die tonight. He starts getting into like her calendar and onto her laptop in the house because if he's in charge of the security, he can turn off the security and just do what the fuck he wants. He even starts stalking her kid as well. Not when she's there, so he keeps that kind of distance from her, but he starts getting footage of the kid and just trying to be almost kind of stepdadish to him. You know, when it first happened in the movie, I was wondering what his goal was, if he was trying to get some information out of the kid. He was just trying to stepdad him, and it was very weird. He even shows up to one of her dates, and he is intense. How you doing, Sarah? <laughs> Great. You know, even if it was his own date with her, this is not the way to do it. And especially not when you're just third wheeling this. Nice to meet you, Frank. You too. Mm -hmm. Same here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a little intense. And also, those glasses, by the way, he's not wore them in the entire movie up until this point. And today we are going to answer, what is the best way to get used to new glasses? Out of the blue, he's now wearing them to just look a little bit more suave, I think. As performances go, they're both all right. Sarah's definitely topping out the two of them. You know, she's great, but what I don't understand is why Gary is so obsessed with her. There's no faults with her as such, but there's nothing necessarily there to make you so obsessed with her. She seems pretty standard. Lovely but pretty standard at the same time. And Gary, that is a great performance there at just being intense and creepy and stalkery. Please throw in the way, leave the home now. I don't imagine he needed to do much for the role. Not that the actor's stalking in real life, but what I mean is, it doesn't look too demanding an acting job. He knocked it out of the park with it, but that being said, it doesn't look like it took him much to do it. When it comes to the pacing, so like I said, the break-in happens about 10 minutes into the movie, and then very quickly we start learning a lot more characters. You know, you've got Sarah's family, and you've got her friends, you've got Gary, and you've got people in Gary's work. So the movie picks up quite quickly. But the issue with that is, because it compressed so much so early, that for the next big chunk of the movie, it feels like it just slows down to an absolute crawl. <laughs> It picks up for the finale, don't get me wrong, but for that midsection, I'd be lying to you to say that the pacing is great throughout. Now look, with all that being said, what would I be saying about Stalked Within? See if you have nothing else to watch, you can put on this. You know, in regards to it being intense and being a thriller, nah, it's somewhat there, I'll give you that. The characters do feel somewhat predictable, most of the time. Some of the shit Gary comes out with, you just don't expect. It's kind of got home invasion vibes, however, he's not necessarily invading the home, he's just watching it from afar. And I do like a home invasion movie, so I think that's what kept me throughout this movie without just turning it off. But also, everybody just looks too perfect in the film. These are people that are just navigating their day. Now, I totally get you've got hair and makeup teams, but those teams aren't there to make you look perfect all the time. But the characters in this just seem to always look Flawless. You know, like, Sarah will come home after a day at work and look fantastic. Make her look a little bit rough, like she's just had a full day at the office. Whereas Gary, I fully get. He needs to make sure he is on top of his game for Sarah. She's a lucky woman if she just got past the stalking thing. Have you seen Stalked Within? Let me know down below if we agree or disagree. And whilst you're down there, do consider hitting subscribe if you haven't already. I love to see it. I'm just reviewing those movies that seem to go a little bit under the radar, trying to find a few hidden gems for myself and recommend to you guys. And with all that being said, as always, thank you so much for watching.